One of literature's earliest examples of science fiction, Taketori Monogatari, The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter, is where Kaguya originates from, also Mr. Bamboo. In it, an, uh, an old bamboo harvester stumbles upon a shining bamboo stalk. He cuts it open to find a baby girl inside with blonde hair. He and his, re he and his wife are happy about over the, the arrival of this beautiful girl and they raise her as their own. One day though, she sees a full moon and remembers that she must return to her people on the moon. Eventually, the moon tribe, who is, who is the race that she belongs to, come to take her back to space and she says goodbye to her adopted parents. Kaguya is part of the Moon Tribe, an advanced race of, interrupted by cutscene, an advanced race with, obviously, as we've seen thus far, things like spaceships or a device or a tablet that will enable us to walk on lava. And that is what we did last episode. We, got, we found her spaceship, unearthed it, it was right in here the whole time, and we and Mr. Bamboo waved our goodbyes as she flew off to who knows where. This episode, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pal Plays, uh, Pal's Play Okami. Last episode, I already said, because I did. Uh, I said Pal's Play, and it is. I have Nova back for a while. Nova, say hi. Hey! That was a very awkward intro on my part, <laughs> but I'll roll with it. Uh, uh, and this episode... We're going to not be going to go through uh, Queen Himiko's palace, because if you remember, she had a room full of lava that we couldn't pass through, which is very strange. It was on the top floor. I, I won't go back into that explanation, that rant, because I already did that. Uh, but this episode, we're going to be cov covering some side quests in Seon City. And now I can give Nova a chance to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that all she's awkward. going to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't, it wasn't really awkward for the viewers, because we just I just cut through that entire place. Like, they didn't even get to see the inside of the hotel, the resort place. Uh, before I allow Nova the ability to talk, though, uh, we got last episode we got the ability Mist Warp, which I never really showed off, just because an origin mirror was way off the beaten path, and I didn't want to cut all the way over there just to show you... 30 seconds of something and then cut to where I was going to warp to. So, uh, I will explain that now in the beginning of this episode. And Nova has a face because I am not let allowing her to talk. Just one moment! Once again! Just one moment! I need to It's explain. always just one moment. Yeah, but there are a lot of moments. Distractions. Distractions and moments. Um, so anyway, Mist Warp is a, is a technique that we got the beginning of last episode, the very beginning, before I even did an intro. Um, it is the ability to warp between any origin mirror. And you do this. Nova, you ready for this explanation? It'll blow your mind. Okay. By drawing X at an origin mirror. Oh. <laughs> uh, mm. I apologize. That wasn't that epic. It wasn't, really. But with it, we get to warp to a loading screen, which I can black out with through the magical powers of editing. But... Yeah, we're warping. Isn't that cool? Yeah. The fun thing about having these pals play with Nova is that, like, she she's not here. She doesn't know what happens uh, for most of Okami, and I get to wow her. Do you hear how, how no, loud no, she was? You, no, you get to try. Yeah, I'm mostly just wowing myself, but I get to wow her with my wonderful abilities of falling down, or drawing X, rather. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I thought of something. What? My apologies. I, I should honestly just cut out this point A to point B running. But I had discovered something. Um, Nova, you remember me telling you how I had to work all the way back through an episode because it froze and stuff. Yeah. Well, I told you guys that as well. But what I didn't tell you is one thing I discovered. I wanted to show the actual footage of it, but I wasn't actually commentating, so it would be kind of boring for you guys. Uh, when we were escaping from the water dragon, we were actually escaping from here. I know, it's really weird. I was all the way over here, I swam all the way over here, and I avoided the water dragon. But when I was doing that, I discovered on the backside of this island, there's a bombable wall. Which I have no idea how to do, because, like, it's above water. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, these float? Oh, never mind. 
Wow. Really? I never knew they floated. I'm used to Zelda where it's like bombs drop like rocks. My guess would have been to draw a lily pad and then draw a bomb on top of it. Yeah, that was my thought. I just kind of wanted to, to, I don't know, rush it. <laughs> and I don't think pearls sell for that much, so it's kind of an interesting reward. I mean, it's cool. I mean, this is a really cool room, but it's interesting. Huh. The ceiling is kind of close. Yeah. It's weird. It's like a pirate stash. It's really sweet. Okay, uh... So How I come you haven't discovered that in any of your research? I have no idea. Well, I only research, like, stray beads, sun fragments, and gold dust, mm -hmm. and enemies. I don't really try... I try to keep myself as blind as possible. I, I, I consistently say that this is sort of a blind run, even though it's not in the slightest. I've played this game practically twice. Like, and you've watched it. Yeah, I've watched an LP, but that's what I count as a playthrough. I've played through it once, but I've watched an LP of it. So, you know, it's it's something where I know the game, but I don't know the game. Mm. If that makes sense. And also, you guys can hear, I'm giving you plenty of opportunities to talk, but you're not talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it's partly because I'm really tired. Yeah, she's going through college right now, so... Yeah, it's turning her into a zombie. No, no, it's not, actually. What is turning you into a zombie? Because I'd like to know. Tell us, please. It's late in the day. And, and that's a, what's and turning I'm you a into a zombie? Person. Oh. Well, I'm a night person-ish. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I kind of am. Okay, I'm not an afternoon person, though. Only a nighttime person. Afternoon person. Yeah. At 3 o'clock, I just shut down and die. It's horrifying. And then you wake up again. Yeah. At that's, night. That's weird. Okay, hey, so... Hey, can you light those lanterns somehow? No, I don't have any lanterns near me. Uh, so anyway, w the first quest we're going to be doing is not one of a stray bead. It is not that of a sun fragment or any collectible. It is that of praise. And to do s to it, we have to talk to the wonderful hippie who looks strangely a lot like Hitler, Mr. Flower. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't do a German voice. I can't. I forgot the voice I did for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello again, Pooch. You can do English accents. Why don't you read it? No, thank you. <laughs> just look. The air in Seon City is crystal clear again. Also, I just realized the irony of this. I said he looks like Hitler, and I'm giving him an English accent. Hmm. Hitler would he be rolling really over like in Hitler. his ashes. What? He doesn't really look like him. Yeah, he does. Okay, look at the character portrait. For him on the, the left. The hair messes it up. It's not hair; it's a tree. He's a he's a pianta. What what <laughs> a relief after that ac accursed mist has had covered the city, that no good mist withered all the trees I so lovingly tended to, but it's gone now, as you can plainly see. Seon City looks like her old self once more. Yay! We did it, and it's turning nighttime again. Would you care to see the Gura Shuffle, Pooch? Do not doubt my resolve. I shall dance when the time has come, but the city's wounds are deep. If I did the Gura Shuffle now, I doubt my strength would suffice. I mean, just look at the great cherry blossoms here on my roof. That is a sacred protector of Seon City, but as you can clearly see, it has been possessed by evil spirits. It would take considerable power to make such cursed trees bloom. I am overwhelmed by sh the sheer number of them in the city. So, I shall save my dance until the trees that aren't possessed bloom. My, my. That way I can burrow the power of the profusely blooming blossoms. Okay, so we have to bloom trees that aren't cursed. And by, by the way you can tell, my apologies, that they aren't cursed is that they don't have the fog near them. Uh, but it is nighttime, I do not want it to be so. So we're just going to go around uh, blooming trees. There we go. And... There's what Nova wants control. Okay, Nova, take control. All right. Uh, after this one, just head down the path. This might take a while. B. <laughs> nope, no, 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 no. You have to do it all the way. No, 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 no. That works. That works. You have to do it around the bottom of the branches. From the top, you did a dot, so it won't work. You have to do it from the top to the bottom of the branches. And don't press A. Just be. We hey, cool. We went. Oh my word! I might. Uh, whoa, that was. This scary. is gonna be a bonus one-hour episode. Oh my! No, no, Nova, Nova, stop, stop. What? Just, 
You're doing it completely wrong. Look at me, I'll do an ex give you an example. Uh, it's daytime. It's been daytime three times now. Um, <laughs> the way you do it is watch. And watch as I utterly fail this. You do this, start at the top. Make sure you include the bottom part of the branches. Okay? Okay. Start at the top. Do not hold A when you press B because that is insane. That's a habit from another game. Yes, just press B. You don't have to jump. Angle the camera before you do it. Don't jump because it messes you up. Ooh, wind. Uh, you, di you did a dot. It won't work. Don't jump. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't jump. Okay. Just hey, did I just do two at once? Yes, you did for the price of one grandma. Okay, you can do it from there. You don't have to get the top in it. Kay. As long as you get like the bottom part of the branches, you're good. There you go, perfect. You, go. you did it better than I did in my first run of this game. You don't need to do that one, that yeah. one's cursed. You know, oh, real quick, uh, take a take a look, see to your right a little bit. You see that face? Yeah. That was the face I wore in the moon moon cave. You get a piece hmm. of paper and you wear that, isn't oh, it? Oh, I remember that. Isn't That's it gorgeous? Your disguise, I, right? I, yeah, I drew it myself. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Not actually pretty, guys. Hey, hey, can we bloom the willows? Uh, no, they're bloomed already. Oh, okay. If any of you guys agree that that is pretty, <laughs> you need to go to art school. Speaking of which, I'm going to be showing that to Nova this evening. I still have no idea what it is. Yeah, I know. I want to sing the theme song soon. You're angling it in a little bit. Start at the very top. S top. There you go. Uh. There we go, that will that one will work. No it won't. Do you want me to take over? There we go. Okay, I'm back into control because Bloom Bloom does not work for Nova. <laughs> <laughs> it works for me, I promise. It works. Trust me. I I I I made Bloom. <laughs> I, I actually made it, Nova. You need to talk more. Like, we need to get you coffee or something to make you talk, because I am being very silent this episode. Like, really silent, and you need to talk. Okay. More than that. <laughs> so, tell us what's on your mind. How have you been feeling? <laughs> really? If that's, that'll get you to talk. Weird. If that'll get you to talk, then I'll do it. It won't. It might do the opposite, probably. Yeah. Okay, we're almost done here. Uh, this tree is needs bloom. Sorry, this tree needs bloomed. Nova's rub rubbing off on me. <laughs> Her horrible skills at bloom. <laughs> you did... Okay, the strange thing about this... Uh, whirlpool much? The strange thing about this is that you did better last in the last pals play at bloom than you did in this episode. Yeah. So, it must be something that's gone on between then and now that is impeding your abilities to make flowers grow and Play, be happy. It's playing Spyro and Hyrule Warriors. Oh, Hyrule Warriors, yep. That'll do it. You, you, just, want to you just want to destroy after <laughs> Hyrule, Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> Don't make it, get me wrong, it was a good, it's a good game, but... Yeah. It... It is a good game, and I like the the battle strategy. Yeah. But I just don't like the music. Yeah, the music's pretty lame. There's only one good track, and it's the one of Ganondorf singing. That one, and uh, Sequence of Drops, because it has that really awesome electric guitar part. Yeah, that and uh, Engage the Enemy. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong game. I was thinking about the best game ever created. Xenoblade. Anyway, okay, there are two, la uh, two more s uh, saplings wait, wait, that wait. we have yet to bloom. Just don't don't wait. Ignore it. Wait. The first one. The first one is jerkishly hidden inside Mr. Flower's house. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah. And also, speaking of Mr. Flower's house, ooh, we have a stray bead to collect. Wow. There we are. That's very well hidden. From Get the memory. Pots. Get the pots. Oh, pots. Yeah. Pot. Okay, seriously. If I played this game by myself, it would take me ages because I would have to destroy every pot Keep talking. and cut every single bush. Yep, including these buckets, which constantly respawn. 
And we got That's fruit out of That's just so tempting for a Zelda fan. Now go back. Back behind the house. That looks like... So Which one? No. Turn around. Where? Okay. Where back behind that house. It looks like a good place to hide something. Yep. It oh, was. you already got it. I thought you were going to say something else, so I cut you off before we went through the loading screen. Uh, there's one more. One more, one more sapling we have yet to bloom. Most uh, jerkishly hidden one of all. Mr. Flower, hey buddy, how you doing? Oh my. Isn't that cheap? You would never think to do that. No. Ever. In your life. That looks ridiculous. It, it does. And look, look, there are petals spawning <laughs> on his head. I, I didn't see that before. It's raining petals. At last. I'm, I'm going to give him Susano's voice for this. Yes. He's a different person now. He has transformed. He is now perfect cell. The time has come. Though few in number, the trees that have bloomed are so, are lending me their power. Now I can drive away the evil spirits with my dance. I have to use Susano's voice just because we're we haven't seen Susano in so long. We're likely not see him in a long time. So I get to reuse voices. Yay! I shall make those cursed cherry blossom blossoms bloom. Sorry to keep you waiting, Pooch. At last, you shall witness my Gura shuffle. Come along if you wish to see my me dance. Are you ready? I give you the Gura shuffle. Ah! Okay, uh, this is a mini game of sorts. He'll just be running around the city, and when he dances, you want to wait to bloom this until he's done. I believe there it is. He'll remove the curse, and you can bloom it. And he'll be happy, and he'll run around another direction, and become Superman! Whoa. He is the true Superman! Okay, this I way... Think, I think you can actually jump higher since I was last on. Yes, I have the power of Holy Eagle, which allows me to jump like a Holy Eagle. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> and we have to stop to do the awesome song, and then... Are you glad I didn't... Oh yes, I'm part? so glad. Not only can you not jump, I apologize, but it's the truth. I've been hiding it up until now, but you can't jump. Um, <laughs> I play games where you can't jump. Yes, so That's you can't why. jump in this game. But your your bloom powers are bad. Wait, can I, I, head I, can I, I headbutt him? Oh, he's invincible. Sorry. Yes, I have a brown thumb at Okami. Brown thumb? Yeah. Well, I have a pink thumb. Beat it. Not not beat it. Like, beat that. <laughs> Do you see? Earth? He floated like Peach in Melee. <laughs> <laughs> he is Peach. I never thought I'd say those words. He even does her final smash. Dude. And also, well, these are cherry trees, not pe peach trees. If only they were peach trees. Peach okay. trees have blossoms. But these are cherry blossoms. Does they say that? Yes, they say it a lot. Okay. And besides, Japan's big thing are their cherry blossoms. They have peaches Ooh, too. Ooh, chest. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. I'm coming, Mr. Flower. <laughs> Where are you? Where, where'd he go? Oh, no. Oh, there he is. Good thing I can run faster than he. Okay, this is the last tree, I think. We're getting a lot of praise for this. How do you know? Because the praise counter. Oh. You know the praise counter, right? The bottom left-hand corner. Right. Right. Yeah. Right-hand corner. I just. Why don't we not get praise from that? I hadn't seen it pop up. Why don't we? Okay, I'll bark. There we go. Oh, oh, there. Okay, last tree. Ugh. Oh, the big one. Yep. Ooh. It looks like Bowser's shell with bigger spikes. It looks like uh the Forbidden Woods from Wind Waker. Yeah, it does, kind of. Bloom! Oh, that's gorgeous. Kind of selfish of him just to have us bloom his own house, but I'll look past it because... Well, he doesn't know that we're doing it. He thinks he's doing it. Yeah, maybe. It worked, it worked! See? Oh, true. Okay, he thought he did it. Yeah. I got a bit out of control there. Frankly, I wasn't sure if I could drive those evil spirits away. But when I thought about how happy the people of this city would be, I knew I had to make these trees bloom one way or another. I care not whether it was my dance or the power of the gods that made them bloom. Oh no, he, he, he's wise to it. As long as the recovery of our cherry blossoms delight the people, I have no complaints. 20 praise! And we still can't upgrade our stuff. And he disappeared. Oh, he, he's over there. 
Okay, what does he say now? Yeah. How do you like our cherry blossoms now that they're in full bloom? Mm -hmm. As long as the, ch as the recovery of our cherry blossoms delight the people, oh I have no complaints, which he said before. Boring. Boring, bro. Okay, uh, next side quest. Even though we're... Do we have to talk to the little girl? Even though we're really far in the episode. Huh. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this. Oh, okay. Go quickly. We can do it. Yeah, true. Uh, the next side quest, we don't want to go here yet. We want to go... Oh, my word, where? I have no idea where. Uh, anywhere? Uh, I have no idea where to go. Like, my guy doesn't tell tell me where to go. That's obviously not it, because it has swords. We're looking... Oh, wait. I've been there before, duh. Uh, we're looking for a clothing design shop. Oh, straight ahead. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Whoa, wait, actually, sorry, my bad. First, this place. Ooh. Would you please check your guide? Sure. Uh, Tell me if there is a place. Let's see. But uh, either way, uh, I've already seen this, so I can't unsee it, so I, sh I must break in. There's something underwater near a bridge. Shh. We already got that. Look silently. <laughs> okay. This place, I guess we'll just find out from experience whether or not there's stray bead in here this chest contains a st holy bone s that was lame this one contains an incense burner okay it's really strange that a, a room you guys saw that lock on the door right that was huge and it was so easy to get in here and there's not that good of stuff oh a crystal okay crystals are good i like crystals oh and two more chests wow Exorcism slip What kind of building are you in? Is oh. it the city treasury or something? I have no idea. Another crystal. Crystals There's are spider nice. webs, so no one lives Whoa. there. Oh, I fell onto this thing. Where's oh another thing? Uh, and glass beads. Okay, I believe this was actually the f yeah it was the glass beads were the first treasure we ever obtained, I believe, in the game. Okay, there's one more, two more chests. Sorry. There's one clever, cleverly hidden by the camera. You sure pearl. there's? You sure there's nothing buried? Uh, how? It's like, oh wait, it is a ha -ha. soft floor. Uh, well, I kind of. Oh, there has to be one hidden here. No. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and grab this one up here, because this is the last one, and I believe it's something good. Maybe. No, but this is your chance to say if it's good or not. Is it good? Is it good? Is it stray bead? Because know. it's a sun fragment. I knew all, all along. I was actually, I was actually just tricking you. Yeah. Um, I, I just hope you know that because I'm master at this game. But yeah, yeah. sun fragment. Whip yippee ki yay. Really, you give me these papers to look at, and yeah, I I, I have a. Um, You're familiar with these. I have the no not. I have Nova as our dedicated uh, list holder or guide holder, and sometimes it backfires on me because she just reads the uh reads the guide straight up in an episode and it's awkward because like a bead we can't get yet so yeah yeah okay uh at least i'm not as annoying as navy the fairy yeah that's that debatable <laughs> okay where are we going i have no idea okay you want to go to the the fabric place keep talking no? keep talking is that where you want to go keep yes okay is um, it this place? Oh, I, I'm skipping past. Oh, she needs medicine. Well, you know what? Herbal medicine. Okay. Can uh, you buy that at a shop? That's a side quest. And, you know, I realize we don't really have much time left in this episode. So I think I'll cover this side quest instead. Since I didn't really, like, we didn't start the side quest at all yet. We're yeah. just looking to where we can start it. So I think that's fine. And where am I going? So uh, we're going you, over here. Can you buy that at, like, one of the merchants? Yes, I can. And I believe... Does it have to be a certain merchant? This merchant. Uh, I can skip past. The waters and canal is clean too, yes. Moving now, the fish from Lake Biwa will come back. That means the people will probably be fishing here again. Uh, there are always delicious fish over in the aristocratic quarter because they have all of the good stuff. Uh, I have a feeling the fish are significant. Yes, they've already been covered, but they're valuable. Fish are very valuable. Okay, let's go and sell off well, some of our trash here. How do you get fish to sell? Fishing. You can fish? Yeah, you can fish. Okay. Wow. I did not know this. My bad. Okay, you got you remember the pearl that we got? You remember the pearl, Nova? Yeah. yeah. 
That's worth 5,500 5, yen. And we have five of them. Oh my word. Not bad. Look how much money we're about to make. Are you going to sell all of those? Yes, I'm selling all of them because there's no reason for me to keep them. Look at how much money. Oh my word, look how many bullhorns there are. Oh. Jimmy, Jiminy Christmas. Oh, we made almost 100,000 yen right there. Nice. Wow. That was so good. Okay, herbal medicine, and I'll buy charcoal next episode. Okay. What does charcoal do? That is part of this of a side quest that we will be covering. Mm. Okay, the herbal medicine. Now I just have to remember where I found that girl. Was, yeah, go across over here. that bridge. Uh, no, bridges are too mainstream. This way. Yeah. There you go. Hello, girl. Blossom, I wish I had read your text before, because you're actually significant. I I don't believe it! Wow, she has some lungs on her. Is that what mm. I think it is, doggy? You got some herbal medicine there, haven't you? You're a girl, you should be reading this text. I don't sing. You don't sing? What? No, nothing. Never mind. Oh, you're going to say you don't sound like a girl. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lie. <laughs> How could a dog manage to get hold of something so expensive? Because I'm rich? Why are you looking at me like that? Do you want me to have it? You offered herbal medicine. I don't believe it. You must have been sent by the gods, doggy. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can make Pop feel better at last. Something I always found interesting about this game is how many people talk to animals. Yeah. Like oh. they can actually understand. I feel really bad about this side quest. Because I didn't even instigate it. You just happen to I feel it. really, really bad about this. Like, super bad. Like, I want to go back and fix this. Why? Like, because we didn't get to see him or talk to him. Oh, oh well. please let it work. We just happened upon them and just started the side quest. I just want you to wake up, that's all. I want you to hear I want to hear your voice again. Gasp. Gasp. Sputter sputter. Huh? What? Hey, Gramps, Gramps, wake up! <laughs> Leave it to Isun to wake the dead. Yeah, so we got some praise out of her. Nice. But is he gonna get better? We'll have to see. Oh, what am I going to do? It's my father. He's lost consciousness again. Hmm. Hey, what is that thing? What is that thing you do to make people happy? Yeah. That—that's also what I do to make them happy, but. It worked! Whoa! Oh, Whoa! That startled me hardcore. Huh? How could you do that to a sick old man? Wait. Oh, that smell. What is that sound? What? <laughs> you know what that sound is? What? <laughs> oh, that's you headbutting him. It glitched. Him. It glitched, and it's doing that sound. Oh my word! I don't feel bad about doing the about skipping the about skipping the text anymore because this happened. Oh wait, that smell. I cannot resist. The cherry blossoms of Seon City must be in full bloom. Okay, if you if you'd actually talk to him like I didn't do, I'm trying to speak over this bouncing, <laughs> um, he he would uh, the, his daughter and he would have mentioned something about the cherry blossoms. I believe about how uh, he always loved to go out and look at them, and that is part of the side quest. You have to have done the uh, Gura Shuffle side quest to heal him. My bad for for skipping that. That is, I really apologize, but you know what? I'm not going to be cutting that out because this is just too grand. Listen to that. Yeah, that uh, sound combined with his popping up and his uncanny resemblance to a redead kind of startled yeah, me. That scared me hardcore when he just stood up straight and there was like thunder in the background. Yeah. Time to, uh, you know what? You know what? Creepy voice for Blossom's Papa. Yes, definitely. Time to eat, drink, and be merry. Oh, happy day. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that over the bouncing. Oh, oh thank goodness. Thank it's you. gone. <laughs> oh, and he's gone too. <laughs> thank goodness. What in the world was that all about? I agree. What was that glitch? <laughs> oh, yes. I almost forgot. My father has has another illness which cannot be cured. He's... Blue? <laughs> My father adores the flower viewing festival, but he gets too excited and hurts his back every year. I made him promise not to go, but the flower fever struck again. Flower fever? 
Uh, I have the same question. What is flower fever? Let's go see the guy. I have a feeling that's not an actual thing. Yeah. Wait, is this him? Whoa. Oh. He's not blue anymore. He didn't eat the colloquial, colloquial silver or whatever it's called. What? You know, there's there's a drink where you drink silver and it makes you blue. Really? Yeah. You didn't know that? No. Oh. Hooray, yippee! Time to eat, drink, and be merry, oh happy day! Hey, Pooch care to dance? Gramps, shouldn't you take it easy? You were practically dead! <laughs> uh, Bite him. That doesn't do anything. I can hit him. Oh. Wee, looks like you're quite the party animal too, eh? <laughs> that's an interesting voice. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. In the wait, end- Wait, wait, wait. What? First. What? Can you light those torches? No, I can't. Oh, okay. Don't even ask such a thing of me ever again. I refuse. Uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, in the end slate, I will show that side quest from beginning to end, and I'll actually show you guys what we missed because I I really feel bad about that. I shouldn't have done that. That was that was a big mess up on my part. But I have Nova for a limited time, so I have to roll with it. So. Yep. Uh, I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, and next time Nova and I will finish tackling the rest of the side quests in Seon City that are available to us right now. Yay! Whoopee, raise the roof and stuff. <laughs> See you guys then.